Hello and welcome to Unity 3D mobile game development course. In this course you will learn and build Android and iOS GTA Vice City game clone. You will learn and build many advanced features like camera sensitivity, game difficulty level and a beautiful interactive UI for the mobile phones. So let's start a new game. You will learn how to add interactive user interface for the mobile screen for the Android and iOS. You see the mini map where you can map mark location for yourself where you want to go. Other than this, you see the zoom in, zoom out the mini map, the home location of Lens that is our player character. The first mission you can see at the top it is written that you will find Ken at the hotel. So our player character will go to the hotel as you can see he reached the hotel and now the first mission he will get from here. So you will learn all these advanced features in this course and also you will learn how to add cutscenes to your game. For example now our player character is talking with Ken so the story cutscenes you can see it is going on that is both are talking with each other just like you guys see in GTA Vice City so the same thing is going on here with more advanced features specifically for the mobile using unity game engine so you will learn how to add cutscenes to a mobile game using unity game engine So now the new mission is assigned to our player character where he has to go and find the weapons store that is the weapon shop. So he will go and find that store. So for example as you can see on the map the weapon that is the pistol symbol is showing on the mini map in the game. You can see that. Upon reaching the weapon store, as you can see, it's reached on the map. Now our player character will go inside and purchase some weapons. So let's go inside. So you see that our player character has $200 and each weapon to purchase it has its own price. So for example, if you purchase this then 50 will be deducted as you can see it is 150 now purchase this 70 deducted so it becomes 80 the player has now 80 and now if the player purchase this one 45 so 45 is deducted so player has now 35 dollars left and he purchased these three weapons now this mission is also completed now the third mission is to go and find the bj smith so on the mini map you can see the b sign so our player character will now go and meet BJ okay so our player character has to find BJ and you can see that the player can change weapons if you click on the right top corner on the weapons then you can see that it is changing the weapon so you can pick any weapon you want from there So as I told you, you will learn how to implement the mission based games for the mobile phones using Unity Game Engine. So for example, this current mission is to follow the B sign on the mini map, which simply means we have to find the BJ. BJ is basically the person. Upon reaching at the B you will see that the cutscene will start that is our player character find BJ as you can see so now our player character will take revenge from this PJ enemy character so now when our player character kill BJ who is basically the person who cheated our player character Lance so now the next mission is our player will go and find Lance and our player character has to kill Lance and you can see the mission title at the top of the screen that is kill Lance. You will learn 
and implement advanced car controllers so the player character can drive any car the player character want you will learn how to add drifting to the cars and also you will learn and build ai cars into the game you see in the map there are also ai cars running on the roads that is driving on the roads so you will learn advanced car controller for the player and also the ai car controller for the common people in the game So now uh, let's complete the last mission which is to find and kill lens. So our player character reached at the lens location which is represented on the map by the simple D. As you can see our player character take fight with the enemies with the security guards of lens. So our player character find Lance and also the main enemy of the game which is the D character, the D enemy character. So this mission is completed which says now all missions completed. So Lance is now the king of this game as he killed all the enemies and completed all missions. You will also learn and build the wanted level system. For example, if our player character break the law, then the police will follow him and send him to jail. For example, now you can see one star is highlighted which means that wanted level is turned on for our player character. So you will learn all these advanced features in this course specifically for the Android and iOS using Unity Game Engine. So yeah, that's it for this video and see you guys in the course. Bye for now.